Call of Duty is back, at least on the Xbox console. And if you don't have one, you might be thinking about going and getting yourself one so you can come out here and take part in the Call of Duty revival. The Renaissance card is back. But be warned, it's not all peaches and cream out here. Bruh. Really, nigga? Dude, what the hell? Are you f***ing serious? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. Ha! Gay! You are now tuned in to the one and only Mr. Merciless Badass. Welcome to the Murder Show. As you can tell by the intro, the hackers are back in full effect too. But, like the hacker in the intro, all the hackers out here not bad. I mean, yeah, you got people out here with walls, you got people invisible, uh, you know, you got people with aimbot, you got people floating around in the sky on all of these cards, especially Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 2, which was what we got featured in the gameplay today. But I just wanted to come out here and just talk about it since I have been playing all of these older cards on strictly on the Xbox. If you've been living under a rock, you can play on any Xbox from the 360, the Series 1, the Series X, it don't matter. You can download these cards and jump on them. They're all on sale, and it's a revival. A bunch of people are back. A lot of people going out here buying new consoles, dusting off their old consoles, buying all of these games, investing a pretty penny to get back involved in Call of Duty of uh, yesteryear. But I'm just here to let you know it's it's not you know what you remember exactly. Like, you know, I don't remember people giving people head in the back of the lobbies and shit. Like, if you're hacking in the lobby, that's a hell of a friendly thing to do, right? If I had access to a hack menu, like, it, I would be doing a world of other shit other than shit like that, right? Like, a couple of guys I ran into, shout out to them, was they was hosting double XP lobbies. You might run into some of those. And hopefully, if you got a brand new account, you do. Because they out here. Then they doing it all. And every day it seems to increase. Every day more and more players come back and also more and more hackers find their old jailbroken console and they get back out here or however they doing it. So just be warned. And this is, you know, my experience, but mostly when I'm playing, I'm live streaming, which seem to bring the hackers out like food in the project. So your experience might be a little bit different. So be warned. Yes, the servers have been revived and refreshed and they back working again, but there's no anti-cheat, and the hackers are in full effect. They might even be cheating in the lobby. They might have a 18-man free-for-all lobby. I've been seeing a lot of that on MW2. 18-man free-for-alls. That shit is dope. But sometimes the guy that's hosting it is invincible. Or he's floating on a platform above the map trying to hit trick shots all game. Meaning he jump off the platform and do a 360 all the way down and try to hit a random shot till he hit somebody. <laughs> I can't believe people are actually still doing that shit in 2023. Who the hell cares? I mean, are they still making sniper montages? I ain't seen one of them in like over a decade. But anyway, man, they are out here most definitely. And please stay off of Black Ops 2 because they are really rough on Black Ops 2. I heard about it. I didn't listen i went out there anyway because i'm a nigga i do what the fuck i want to do and deal with the consequences later but uh, them motherfuckers kept booting me off the game like one of them finally i had to just get off because the motherfucker did some shit sound like he was about to blow my fucking playstation up my xbox up if i didn't shut the game down <laughs> but man all of the servers uh, is up every game i got on card four modern warfare last night finding lobbies full of brand new players so they out here, man. Just beware. You know, if you're playing on the Series X, you're going to have a fair amount of input delay, you know, from your controller. You're going to push the button and you see that you got them really react immediately. You're going to have to invest in getting the Xbox Elite controller so you can go in there and, and, and change the settings on the thumbsticks. UAV on standby. It, it, it's going to take some getting used to. You know what I'm saying? This is Black Ops Friendly 2 right UAV here. UAV inbound. And is, wait a minute. Is it? Yeah, this is Black Ops 2. Actually, Black Ops 2 is the best the feeling out of the all the old cards. To be honest, when I got on Black Ops 2, it felt more, you know, like something modern that I could get in, that was in tune with. You know, I could see somebody, aim at them, shoot at them, kill them. It was no problem. But 
And you see what just happened? You see all these headshots? Somebody just got mad. You seen that? I didn't even see that the first time. You see, the, the dude that was cheating got mad because I was about to win or whatever, and he turned on his hacks and he got headshots on everybody. And look at this right here. Watch this. Here, this is him right here. What the fuck is that? What is that? You seen all them headshots he got in the end? Everything be fine until you be about to win, and they'll do some shit like that on you. Or they'll boot you out of the game. They out here, man. But it's not every lobby. I say, honestly, you can expect to run into a hacker probably in about, you know, one every, out of every five games. You know, depending on how lucky you are. Because they back, man. They back. And uh, like I said, this ain't your modern card right here. The Black Ops 2 felt pretty good. But all everything prior to Black Ops 2, man, be prepared to take several steps back in time. Like... It felt good back then. It was fun to play for us back then because that's all we knew. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but when you when you've had better and you come back and you try to play this shit, it's actually crippling trying to run around and 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 and, and play a game with controls that feel ancient and primitive. It's something that's hard to describe. You just got to get out here and try it out for yourself. Just, you know, be warned. It ain't going to play the way you remember. Them, you know, your memory is tinted. You know what I'm saying? What they say, you got rose-colored glasses on, you know, in, when you're looking at shit with you, in the past through your nostalgic lenses. You get out here, it's really not the same as it was before. So be prepared for that. It's going to be a new learning curve. Trying to play a Call of Duty that really don't have any type of aim assist to speak of. Yeah. Like, all the aim assist we getting in Modern Warfare 2 and all the previous cards, Cold War, and they're like the last four cards at least. They, they put aim assist in there to the fact that, I mean, it's heavy, but we didn't ever realize it. Like, I, I'm still, you can't tell me I'm not doing the aiming and killing when I'm aiming at people and shooting at them. It just, it feels better with the aim assist. Out here, you don't have it. It's real janky, real wobbly. You know, it's like trying to play X Defiant and, and the connection. That's another thing, you know, servers up and running, but man, the connections could be dog shit at times, like in this game right here. The connection was broke off in this game right here, and this bitch ass nigga right here was camping right here the entire game. So be ready for that shit. Uh, Modern Warfare 2019 and 2022 has birthed a new generation of bitch ass motherfuckers who like to sit on their pussy and camp. I mean, I, and I mean it, I, and lay down and shit. It, it was crazy. Or maybe they was just trying their best to deal with the steps back, the several steps back that, that you have to take in FPS, refresh rate. Oh, man. Like, it's, come on. It's like taking one step back if you're playing on console, but if you're playing on PC, you're taking two or three steps back. It's hard trying to adjust to not being able to see. I mean, this shit is like, what, 720p? I think this shit was 720 60 FPS, 60 refresh rate, unbearable, and not to mention the dog shit connection. Look, look at me coming through the door. And then I tell you, you've been camping there the whole game. Dog shit connection. Uh, you know it's not all peaches and cream, bro. You know, I, I wish it was. I wish we could get these older cars remastered because, like, only thing that they lacking is modernization. You know, making the controls feel right. Hey, being able to turn up the goddamn FOV. Lord have mercy. The 80 FOV is killing me. And if you go back far enough, I think like Card 4 and World at War, if I'm not mistaken, somebody told me those were 65 FOV. 65, imagine that. But once you stepped up to 120, or even me, I played 105. Trying to go back and play the 80 FOV is like trying to... Walk around with toilet paper rolls over your eyes and look at people through that shit. Imagine that. Looking through some, you know, oh, come on. Like you're looking through a telescope and you got a peephole at the end to look out of. You have no peripheral vision out here whatsoever. You can't see shit. Somebody could be right next to you. You won't see them. You know? But I'm sure if you play these cards every day for long enough, you get used to it. I did. Like, you know, just be one. It's going to take a lot of getting used to. And you're going to have to deal with a lot of 
connection issues, hackers, uh, controls feeling janky, and shit like that. But overall, it's it's a breath of fresh air to be able to come out here and play these old cards, hear these old sounds, experience these old lobbies. You know, I get out here, drop you some streaks, and just reminisce, man, and just take a trip back in time. The nostalgia is heavy out here. It's like a drug. And it, especially when you got a bunch of new players out here and you're a new player, you got shit talking back in the lobbies again, people talking shit in between the games. You're back to ranking shit up, ranking up matters again. So coming out here playing on the Xbox for the first time, unlocking shit all over again, it feel like Christmas time again almost. You know, until you, like, you get in the chopper gunner and it's so, the connection is so bad, I can even barely even control this thing. Oh, is this just how bad the chopper gunner was back then? I don't remember. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I, I'd much rather get in the current chopper gunner. The current cards, mechanically, do everything right. They just make a lot of dumb gameplay decisions. And the old cards, gameplay-wise, done everything right just, right, just mechanically, they suffer. Back then, you didn't realize because that's the best you had, but going back to it from now, all of that shit stick out like a sore thumb, you know? And that's just the point I wanted to make. Are the old cards better than the new cards? In some ways. But in some ways, the new cards are better than the old cards. I wish we could get a marriage of the two. The great functionality of the new cards with the great gameplay decisions of the old cards, you know? The omission of any type of skill-based matchmaking, demonic uh, retention-based uh, algorithm trying to keep you on the game when really it's pushing everybody off of the game. That's another reason why it's fun to come out here and play because it ain't no goddamn SBMM, huh? But we still got whole-ass motherfuckers in the corner sitting in the same goddamn spot. <laughs> But fuck with your boy, man. Holler at me in the comment section. How y'all feel about this shit? Are you out here taking part in this shit? Or are you sitting on the sidelines hating, saying that Xbox sucks because you mad because the PC, because the uh, PlayStation revival haven't happened yet? Come on now, dog. Stop hating. Start congratulating. Come on, man. But I'm out of time, man. It's the murder show, nigga. Fuck with me. And if you enjoyed the video, Show the pimp slap the piss out the like button for your boy. Leave me a comment and be sure to hit that motherfucker subscribe button and don't miss none of this Call of Duty real shit. It's the murder show. Fuck with me.